Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how you can change your slide master defaults in PowerPoint. So this is going to include picture polling and normal polling as they both have different slide master layouts. So to start with, add your polls in. This one's got an image, this one doesn't. Head to the view tab, then to slide master. And as you can see, we've got VVox basic slide layout and we've also got the VVox double decker layout. So the basic slide layout is exactly what it sounds like. It's it's basically all polls without images or anything like that in them. This includes pin on image polls as well. Um, I know they have an image in them, of course, but there's only one sort of main sort of focus on that one. So it's pretty simple once you get in here. Moving this title bit around here on the uh, on the on the uh, VVox basic question layout is going to move where the title appears. Moving this box down here is going to move where your context appears, so that's your polls or your your picture on your um, on your pin on image. So now I've moved those around. If I close the master view, you can see that everything that I've done here is sort of conformed to how I've how I've edited it in the slide master. So it's a bit messy here, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to head back into the slide master. We're going to go ahead and make this text smaller by highlighting it, going to home and just basically making it smaller by uh, manually doing it there in the uh, in the home tab. And then we can check that it's all conformed to how we want it. So we get back up to slide master, close master view. So you can see that this text here is still a bit, bit big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text, make it too smaller. And then I'm going to click on the box and click on the edge of the box, right click and set as default text box. And then if I delete this poll and re-add it, you'll see that actually it's now suddenly conforming to the actual t default size that I set in that first text box. So this won't affect the title um, on your on your PowerPoint slides uh, because the title is a completely different thing um, to an actual text box. So that's how you could do your normal, uh, normal polling slides. So that gives you a nice bit of space over here to put an image in. Or alternatively, if you want to do something else, we head back into the slide master, you could do something a bit a bit different, like have your have your title down here. And your context on the left and what that will do is put your title over there and you know where wherever you move it on the screen is where it's going to appear on the actual slide so i'll move it back to how it was before same sort of thing goes for ones with images so if i click in here click view click slide master that's going to take us to this one on the left here you can see this is actually going to follow what it was on the actual um, slide itself so if we close this we can see on the left is our poll on the right is our image so <clears throat> if we hit back into that slide master this is the image, so what we can do is we can make that smaller and put it over there if we want to. This is actually our pulse, so if we wanted that bigger, we could make it bigger. And our title, we'll leave where it is. If I come out, you'll see that it's all moved. And then it'll just be a case of doing the same thing we did before on the other slide, which is making, making this uh, slide text a bit smaller, so the title a bit smaller there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to X out, and because that default text box we set earlier in the uh, normal VVox master slide, Will actually apply to this one here as well. So if I delete all of that, read that slide, you'll see that the text on these slides has sort of resembled what I changed earlier on these ones as well. Changing your font, um, really simple. Go up to View, Slide Master, and then this will sort of do it for all of these master slides. So there's an there's a good one which is sort of accessibility and stuff. You might need to change your font. So if you head up here, click Fonts. And then I could change it to this uh, Frank, Franklin Gothic one. That's quite obvious that it's changed it, and you can see that it's changed it on every slide. Same thing with colours. Clicking here, changing your colours to say, maybe I want the uh, accent one, which is the VVox sort of colours, to be a different colour. Do that. Click on red, for example. Click save. Exit that slide, must have you. You can see that all the uh, VVox, VVox elements are a different colour now as well. So. Changing things with Slide Master is really easy, guys. If you if you want any more help, then obviously give us an email at uh, support at vvox.com. Uh, we can give you a hand there. Um, any other information, then uh, we've got more, more videos on the YouTube channel if you want to have a look.